There are two ARV7 assays that are really um, coming close to market. Uh, the Epic Sciences one, as you mentioned, is, is one of the first, as well as the Johns Hopkins um, Chiagen assay. Uh, the Epic assay is a protein-based assay where the blood cells are smeared on a, uh, a slide of uh, glass where all of the cells are interrogated under a microscope and with a software program that looks at every single cell in that tube of blood. Uh, multiple slides are made and each cell is annotated with an immunofluorescent marker such as for white blood cells and tumor cells. Those tumor cells are then counted and the marker of interest which is ARV7 nuclear expression is then quantified on a per patient level. So any detection of ARV7 in the nucleus is considered a positive test. Um, the, just like the Hopkins assay which <coughs> looks at uh, PCR detection uh, in the RNA um, uh, the prevalence of a positive test using the EPIC assay goes up with resistance and with treatment sequences. So a positive test using the EPIC assay is in about 5 or 10 percent of patients in the frontline setting and it goes up to about 10 to 20 to 30 percent as the disease progresses. So the usefulness of the test uh, really becomes important after abiraterone or enzalutamide particularly. The second ARV7 test uh, which was developed at Johns Hopkins uh, by Dr. Luo's lab uh, is a uh, RNA-based uh, expression. Uh, and so uh, a very specific primer is developed to the cryptic exon of ARV7, which is unique for that sequence and is amplified and then detected in the circulating tumor cells of an enriched blood specimen. So again, a liquid biopsy test, not uh, visible in a cell, but a kind of whole cell extraction approach where you can measure the V7 at the RNA level. A positive test is, is really defined using both positive and negative controls and an amplified RT-PCR cycle. Uh, this is a very simple test, rapid turnaround just like the EPIC uh, sciences assay within uh, one to two days. And a positive test is again associated with rapid resistance and a low response rate to abiraterone and enzalutamide. So both tests really do appear to have some predictive value. They certainly have uh, poor prognostic value. I want to point out that neither of these tests yet have been externally validated, so that's actually our ongoing work is to compare these tests head-to-head -head in a prospective multi-center trial where there's an external validation component to this study. We call this the Prostate Cancer Foundation Movember Challenge Grant. And this challenge study uh, has enrolled 120 men. We completed enrollment in December of 2016. We expect to have results within about two or three months from today. And those results are anticipated to uh, uh, prospectively validate both the EPIC Sciences V7 test and the Hopkins uh, Chiagen V7 PCR-based test. And all the patients in the study are either front or second-line therapy castrate-resistant patients that are treated at one of five different large academic centers around the United States and then followed prospectively uh, for survival-based outcomes.